I'm Chrism. And I'm Minx. Thank you for joining us today for The Crooked Man. This is one of your favourite RPG Maker games, is that right? Insane Sababa? No. Oh. <laughs> I thought you liked it a lot. <laughs> Pretzel, please. Pretzel spooked by The Crooked Man? Yes. So we both played this before, right? Yes, we did. Okay, well, uh, this is the Steam release. It's just coming out on Steam. They're releasing the whole Strange Men series. Uh, Chris will be joining me for this one. Maybe not the others, but we're gonna. I'm going to be playing through the whole series. And um, we're going to start with The Crooked Man, where it all began. And a replay of a game I played... 20... It's not... It's not... 2012? Let's play this. I don't know, maybe. Yeah, let's go. This is a horror game. It contains scenes in grotesque content, so refrain from playing it if you feel you can't handle it. Please adhere to the following rules. Oh, okay, right. Do not credit us in the video game. It's the same sort of stuff. There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked stile. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse. And they all lived together in a crooked little house. I wish it was Little Crooked House. Yeah, I think it is. Alright, so, who's the, is Paul the main character? I can't fucking remember. I don't think so. Alright. Will you be Paul then? Woo! Finally, things look tidy in here. That should be that. Is there anything else we can help with David? Oh, yeah, David's the main character. Nah, I'm fine. Sorry for making you guys help me move. <laughs> and thanks for showing me the place, Paul. I'll have to pay you back sometime. Ooh, nice. The three of us could go out drinking. I look forward to it already. Well, that's late. We better get going. Get it. Be careful, you two. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we are David. A stove. A sink. David's stating the obvious. Can I just say, by the way, I'm sure I said this at the time, by the way, that we originally, uh, uh, I originally played this, and you, I'm sure you thought this as well. What a shit apartment. Yeah. He says he moved into the ghetto? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, there's this massive crack in the wall. Let's see what this is. There's a large crack in the wall. Apparently he knew that was there after the first viewing. Okay. Yeah, I mean, these rooms are all shit. I'm sorry, David, but they are. An old computer. What do you think of the interior decor, Bubba? Eesh. Okay. Well, go! I don't care, David, so you listen to fucking me! <laughs> okay, let's move on. No reason to go out. What do we have to do? Not many clothes inside. You, you should know Just that. Just go to bed. I don't think it will let me, but I'll try. Alright, David, it's time for bed. Okay, apparently it's not time for bed. Now, David wants to look around the room slowly again and check out everything. Ah, shish. Paul, Paul forgot his license. I should get it to him if he's still around. Got Paul's license. Well, he probably won't be, considering you just fucked around for the last five minutes. <laughs> eh? Uh. D d that's Marion, I think. What's with that place? Seriously. It's filthy. It's practically falling apart. What were you thinking? He wanted to move out for, for a change of pace. And that will not help him, you hear? Wait, no, that was still Marion. <laughs> oh, sorry, yeah. This is Paul. We already know who it is. Well, why would you put question mark, question mark, question mark? <laughs> Look, what can I do? He's not the richest guy, you know? And not many places come with furniture. Oh my god, it's actually explaining why it's shit. Besides, you told me to look for the place, right? Don't come complaining to me now. You're right, I'm sorry. I just wanted to help David out. I know. Look, I should be sorry. We'll pay him a visit sometime. 
they was like, I can't tell whose voices they are through this narrow, thin wallpaper, thin wall. <laughs> the lasses can wait, I guess. Better go to bed. Oh, poor David, he's depressed. Holy shit. Mum? Hello? Hello? Who is this? Shirley? Why would he say that? <laughs> Let's call it a day. I should take it easy for the first day in the new place. Man, I'm tired in all sorts of ways. Aww, and David drifted off fully clothed in his bed. <laughs> Really? Is there somebody crying? I can't sleep through this. Is it one of the neighbors? I should go ask. What? Ask, what a are fucking you... pussy. <laughs> I can't sleep when someone's crying. Let me in! Baby, go that, to the other door. That would freak me out if someone knocked on my door at like, what time is it? 1am? <laughs> <laughs> no one's here. Who is it at this hour? Pardon me. It's just, I can hear you from my room. It's making it hard to sleep. Would you stop? Huh? What are you saying? I was asleep until you woke me up. You trying to start something? You're the guy who moved into 204, right? There's no way you'd hear me from there. Uh, I guess so. Uh, sorry for waking you. Bye now. She's right, the rooms are pretty far apart. More importantly, it was a man's voice. Was it just my imagination? Just you being a pussy. Whatever, I better get back to sleep. Oh, I can't sleep if I can hear noise. Ba bathroom! Bathroom! Look, 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 listen. Yikes, the water. Is the faucet busted? No. Huh. Oh, that would freak me the fuck out. <laughs> Under the bed? Is Paul trying to prank me? Talk about in bad taste. How would that even work, you stupid bastard? Uh, Paul came into your apartment while he was always that woman, wrote that on your window, and then fucked off. Under the bed, huh? What's down here? Oh no, you fucking idiot. Huh, I found something. Found a scrap from a notebook. Ever since she went away, I've spent every night clutching my sweaty pillow and writhing. I can't say goodbye. What other choice do I have? What's this? Did the farmer tenant leave this here? I reckon it's slam poetry. Oh, whatever. I'll get, I'll get to bed. This is like laughing a bit to me. What do you think? I don't know. This sound still? Where's that coming from? Give me a break, I need sleep. Hello? Oh yeah, thanks for all the... No, no, I didn't mean... Just, I'm busy with work, so... Yes, I'll come visit today. Tell her that for me. Okay, bye. Man, I slept into noon. I better go. So much for taking it easy. I mean... I mean, noon's pretty... For, 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 this, for the Steam release, you could fix the grammar errors. Was there a grammar error, though? Yeah. I sleep into noon, is what it said. Paul? What is it? Y yeah, uh, I forgot my license yesterday. Was it on the table? Oh yeah, this. So I was gonna bring it to you, but... Oh, thanks. You going somewhere? Uh, you let me finish? I was gonna say, I was gonna bring it to you, but then I heard you bitching about me outside my room, and I was so traumatized by the experience that I immediately went to bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to the hospital. I see. 
Take care of yourself, buddy. Oh, yeah, Paul? Did you write something on the bathroom mirror? Huh? Right on the mirror? What kind of prank <laughs> surgery do you take me for, David? That crazy prank, writing on the mirror. <laughs> we should do that, writing on the mirror prank. It's so cool, what a great idea. What crazy things could happen? It's shit. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean it like that. Anyway, I'm off. There's a new, right? Potentially, I don't remember. Ma'am, it's been a while. Are you doing okay? I don't think she looks that okay to me, to be honest with you. Oh my, if it isn't little Timmy, you've certainly grown. Good, you look healthy. Sorry I can't see you very much, I've been busy with work. But I took a few days off and I moved to this great room with furniture and everything. What? My old place just had a box. It's near your favourite cake shop too, so when you get better we can live there together. What, in that room? <laughs> My, that's wonderful. Get along with Linda, will you? All that fighting you do worries me so. Maybe I can come visit you sometime. You like apple pie, don't you? I'll make the best I know how. Mum, I'm not Timmy. I'm your son, David. Remember? Oh, yes. He opened a bakery the other day. It smells so wonderful. Maybe I should buy from there. Mum. Oh! Who would you be? Why are you here? How did you get in? This is my room. Do you have the wrong room? Who are you? Say something! M mom Get out! I'll have you throw it out! Somebody! Somebody! There's a strange man in my room! Get him out now! <laughs> Mrs. Hoover. Mrs. Hoover, don't strain yourself. Please go to sleep, okay? Who are you? Don't touch me away! Now calm down, miss. Let's get you into bed. I'm sorry, David. Leave your mother to us. You'll have to leave for today. Understood. Take good care of her. Davy? Is that my Davy boy? Where are you going? Why are you leaving me? Mom? Your flight school exams are coming up. You want to be a pilot, don't you? Your mother always has your back. Please don't leave me alone. I don't want to be alone here. David, please. Mom, it's me. Remember. Mom? David, please leave her today. She's very confused right now. But, but, but she said my... I said leave. Jesus. Mrs. Hoover, please calm down. Bring the sedatives! That's actually quite a sad scene, really. Yeah. Oh, no. Hello. Hello. Oh, so it's you. Hello, David. Did you see your mother? Yeah, though I guess she still doesn't know me. Yeah, she's forgotten many things, and she's having trouble controlling her emotions. It, yes. Yes, that's, that's the problem. <laughs> I ask you to be patient. She will, she may well get better so you can live with her again. What, what does she have? I mean, like, if it's like dementia, if it's, dementia, it's not going to like just get better. Yeah. It doesn't happen like that. I know from experience it doesn't fucking Same. happen like that. Same. Uh, like, I think we both had similar situations and it's really awful. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, this isn't on. the thing. That doesn't happen. Thanks. I hope you can help her. Let me just stay in awkwardly and meet like one foot in front of you staring into your eyes. Oh shit. Cupboard. Maybe? Or Don't. is it the <laughs> Is it the toilet? Don't wanna go. <laughs> no. 
It must be the Bedroom? crack. Is the crack bigger? Mm. Hmm. Well, we can't go to bed. What moved? I don't know. Honey, obviously it was none of these things. Well, I'm just checking. You don't know. Was it outside? Oh, the chair. Oh, it has, yeah. He but... seems unfazed by this. Oh, did I move that chair? No, you just heard it move. Oh, there's something in the drawer. A leaflet for a school. Looks pretty odd. Huh, these LLM courses are circled. Was somebody shooting to be a lawyer? I guess this must be the former tenants. He sure forgot a bunch of stuff. Maybe no furniture here is better after all, huh? No, David. You need furniture. You can't just sit on the floor. <laughs> you fucking weirdo. I mean, I guess you could. Oh my god, is it Shirley? No solicitors! <laughs> Hello? Hey, David. How are you doing? Haha, <laughs> you sent me just yesterday. I'm doing fine, thanks. Good, good. Call if you're ever lonely, okay? By the way, I got a call from Shirley yesterday. We didn't really talk. How do you know it's Shirley? It wasn't. Sorry, I told you I told her your number. She said she was worried about you. It's okay. Tell her I don't need her to worry. She should just look out for herself. Alright. Well hang up now. Alright, see, that was an awkward phone call. What the fuck was the point of that? I'll just call you for ten seconds. I'm tired of reading, I should go to bed. Yeah, you can't really watch TV with it at that angle. And with no chair in front of it. Well, you can watch it from the other couch. I guess, yeah, that's, 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 you, could, you could be like here. I guess. But it's still, it's a bit awkward. <laughs> Hello? Why did it turn it on, on by itself? Is it broken? <laughs> it said sink. <laughs> what the hell? This is creepy. Why did it say sink? What was that? Well, you do own a sink, David. Kitchen sink. Oh. You own two sinks, David! Holy shit! There's a scrap of paper under here. There was a crooked man and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked stile. He bought a crooked cat which caught a crooked mouse and they all lived together in a crooked little house. Isn't this a Mother Goose ram? Why is this here under the sink? I guess the previous tenant really liked Mother Goose. So much strange stuff. I should just sleep and forget about it. <laughs> I should just drink to forget my problems. Can I save so wherever here, I like, by the way? Here's a question. Oh, I, I got. can. I haven't saved yet. Probably here's do a that. question I got. Yeah. He has an extra fucking space, right? Why wouldn't he put his bed in the extra space and just have his office in the same room? as his other stuff. He lives by himself. It's not like he really needs the separation. I feel like the bed's a bit out of place in this room, you're right. It's just like there. <laughs> Moving for a change of pace, huh? Guess that's not working so well. I appreciate pulling Marion's help, but... I fell asleep. <laughs> Before I could finish my thought. Is that a kid out here? This late at night? And what a kid would live in a, these beat-up apartments. The kid of a poor, poor person. person. Yeah. <laughs> Heck, maybe they're lost. I sh maybe they're lost. I should go check. I don't know if I'm being much harsher on this than I was years ago, but... Well, that's because you're older and wiser. And it's just like, I've seen such amazing fucking stories in these RPG Maker games now. <laughs> of course there's no kids here. Must be getting tired. <gasps> Just a broken cup. Jeez, that startled me. Why aren't you questioning how it ended up getting broken? Wait, what? Oh, he is. Oh, no, he's not. It just says, help me. The cup is spelling. Out. You gotta be. This room. It's really strange. With his voices and TVs turning on. What is this? It's probably nothing, dude. <laughs> just chance. Shall we? A uh, hi, Paul. It's David. 
Yeah, what's up? Man, you sound sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> um, was up all last night. I just gotta ask you something. Is now okay? Yeah, what? Do you know who used to live in this room? Not, don't know. You asked the landlady? You curious about something? About George. Well, it seems like he forgot a lot of stuff. But we'll ask the landlady, sure. Later. The landlady's on the far end of the first floor. I gotta see what she knows. She's the one that we knocked on, right? No, first floor. Oh, okay. Uh, in Europe land? That's exactly the same crack, Excuse right? Excuse me, sorry. That's oh, right. Hello! <laughs> oh, it's Mr. David! What seems to be the matter? Good day, miss. I just wanted to ask something, you see. About the room I'm in, can you tell me anything about the person who used to live there? Well, you know these apartments always have people coming and going. Now, what was that boy's name? I believe he was a man about your age. Suddenly left about a month ago. Said to leave the furniture and use it, however. You wouldn't know where he went. Never heard that, no. Really just up and left out of the blue. I just can't remember that name. I could rummage through my documents to find the previous tenants, if you'd like. N no, there's no need. I was just a little curious. Thanks, I'll see you around. All right, sorry, wasn't very useful. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> a man about my age. I can only wonder what he was like. Oh, well, I'll get back to my room. He just dismisses it so quickly. It's like, yeah, whatever. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. <clears throat> Creepy shit. Why are these tracks on the floor that lead up to the wall? Is there something in this crack? Got a brass key. This key's pretty fancy. I doubt it's for anything in here, so I wonder where. You clean up, David, or just... Nope. The guy's voice, the kids' voices, the mirror writing, the TV turning on, the coffee. It's like a poltergeist or something. But I wonder have but I would have thought the landlady would mention this kind of thing. What's going on here? Except, you know, if the landlady doesn't believe in ghosts. Or she didn't she wants to sell you the fucking apartment. She's not gonna be like, actually, it's haunted. Surprise <laughs> Not that I'd much care if there were ghosts here. Nobody'd be too bothered if they haunted and killed me either. What? Email, but, email, email, yeah. email, email. <laughs> but I wonder about that scrap of paper. What was this man who lived here like? Did this stuff happen when he was here? The most you're thinking about it, I'll call it a day. You wouldn't sleep there, would you? You'd just be like, no, I'm done. <laughs> I like his little eyes closing. It's kind of adorable. Your microphone is like 27 miles from your face. That's fine. What? Oh my god. God, it's the aliens! Why? Where's that coming from? Is it from inside the house? The call's coming from inside the house! Oh my god! What would that even be? Computer? Oh yeah, it's the modem, right? When was this fucking made? <laughs> no, it's not the modem. Do we ever... Oh. Ah, the closet. Radio? What's... Why is this in my closet? Not to mention it's turning on by itself. There's something on this paper here. It's an address? Our special place. Where's that supposed to be? Well, didn't it say there was an address on it? So, like, actually, can we look at these? Okay, it just said, oh, that's a shame. I thought we like, could see like the actual things, you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, there's no address. It just says our special place. All right, let's go back to bed. Oh, fuck. Oh, he's shaking, look. <laughs> that, that was always a nice church. Wh wh what? I I'm waiting for you. What? Why did... How? And when did it... What? Whoa! You're not getting your deposit back, don't you? <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
So you sleep well last night? Sorry you had to sleep on the couch. On account of you just running over here like a big pussy. <laughs> nah, I should be sorry for coming over so late. Wasn't expecting it, but don't sweat it. But hey, did something happen? You don't look too hot. Oh, there's no particular reason. Or maybe I felt like intruding into the newlyweds' love nest. Hey! Why you? Haha, <laughs> just kidding. No, I was totally serious, actually. Seriously, though, you can tell me if anything happens after like, oh, you ship. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, though, you can tell me if something happens, okay? I'll do whatever I can for you. Alright. Unless I actually have to put in effort. <laughs> then I'm... you're on your own. <laughs> I'm glad to know a guy who looks out for his friends. Hey, you making fun of me? No. <laughs> oh, yeah. I heard from Marion. Sorry about the Shirley thing. I told her off for that. Don't worry about it. It's not Marion's fault. Well, it kind of is, dude. I mean, she did tell her. <laughs> it's not anyone else's fault. Well, it's not about whose fault it is, even though it's totally Marion's fault. I'm just not happy about it. Don't let it get you down, all right? I know you got your mother to look after. Oh, fuck you! Fuck! <laughs> I know you've got your mother to look after, but I think it's time you move on and look for new people. As if a guy like me couldn't fi could find a date. I'm just some clerk with a mum in the hospital, and the girl I wanted to marry ran from me. Man, don't be such a sissy. You keep up that moping and you'll have your own personal rain cloud. Ha, <laughs> well, I'll be careful. Oh, so I'm going to go on a little trip. Don't want to waste my vacation, you know? Great idea! Where are you going? Just somewhere. I was wondering about... I'll call you when I get there. Sweet! Send a postcard. Wouldn't you be like, that's a bit weird. Breakfast ready, Paul? David, will you be eating too? No, I'm not hungry. I'll be going. Oh, that's too bad. Come by any time you like. Except don't. <laughs> <laughs> We're changing the locks. There. Looks like the address is in the mountains. About a five hour drive. Did the former tenant go here? I just want to ask him about this room. Maybe he'll know something. I'll go right now. I can't stand this place anyway. Are you going to clean up or...? Eh. I mean, it's not, it's not that much of a difference. Prologue. David's room. End. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, 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 wah. We're going to go into the next chapter, Bubba. Jesus, it's gotten dark. But this is the place, no doubt. Huge place. Looks like a hotel. Would he be here? No. Guess I'll have to check. I always find it weird this hotel has no drive or anything, by the way. Hotel Ruenheim. Give you a serene stay. A hotel register? Guess we'll look around. Just the fact that there are no lights on. The key I was painted over. What the fuck? You'd be like, this looks a bit weird. You know what I mean? Mm. Looks like the bathroom. Good, good for you. Treasure hunt. Dear mom, dad, me. Okay, so kids drawing. And there's like nine squares. And there's the top right one's got a crown on it. Treasure hunt. I guess some kids staying here drew this. Sure, I'll look for your treasure. No, I won't. You wouldn't, would you? You'd be like, this is that's cute. It's not going to be any actual treasure. <laughs> Staff only is locked with a passcode. Can you sprint? Not like I can tell, no. No, you can't. Doesn't look like it anyway. The usual button for RPG Maker Sprinting is not working. Let's put it that way. It's locked. Star phone, there's a wire around the doorknob. Well, I'm done. I'm done so. <laughs> no way I could possibly get past that. 107 oh, is the room numbers, okay. Have you ever been in, like, abandoned building before? Nope. I kind of I kind of think it would be cool. All right, so this door is the only one that's legit. And it's locked. 
Like I've always wanted to like look around like a you know like something that was like like an abandoned amusement park or something. Well, we know it's oh, this no, one here. No, that one. Eh, something under the table. A gold key. I'm pretty sure I struggled with that originally. <laughs> There's a piece of paper besides it. You found the treasure. Congrats. I'm so lucky. I found the treasure, brother. Anything else in here? A grand piano. Today's program. Schubert's three piano pieces. It's strange how, like, things have changed. Like, I think I was genuinely terrified by this when I was when I first played it. Oh, yeah. I think I was, too. But I, think, I still think it's all right. Like, there's nothing wrong with it. There's a scrap from the notebook on the dresser. All right. It was our special place. She loved the pretty room with its big mirror. She would wonder what to wear for dinner. But now it's just me. I thought it might help to come here, but it didn't. There's only emptiness. The rule on this page, it matches the one from my room. So the former tenant did come here. I wonder if he's still here. Wouldn't you just be like, did he stay in this room? So he got dumped, huh? The note at our home didn't, did mention that. And our special place. He came here with her. Where could he be? Notebook scrap. One thing, oh, I can't actually remember the plot of this at all, so I'm actually looking forward to seeing what happens. Mm, just, 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 just nothing. Nothing to worry about it. Nothing, Scully. <laughs> Can we actually look at the crack mirror? Due to temp employee incompetence and lost keys, the library is temporarily closed. We apologise for the inconvenience. So we've got a bunch of locked doors. Oh, the gold key opens this one. And another key. Key to room 108. Cry of the unseen. Do you consider yourself kind? You don't get to decide that. It's decided in the unconscious. Even if you believe you are cold-hearted, you may be warm and emotional inside, and they will sniff it out. They will be lured by your unconsciousness kindness, and they will drag you away. Unconscious tech kindness. Some kind of a cult book? I bet Paul would love this. He's way too into this stuff for his age. How old is Paul? The owner's collection of books, please read at your leisure. Have a quick... Okay, that was good. What the... the sound? Still gonna have a look around first. <laughs> just gonna say bollocks, isn't it? Yeah, just... there's not gonna be anything important. No, nah, I think it would glow. Alright. I wanna look at the crack mirror quickly. Oh no, this is freaking me out. Is someone there? Which one was it at the mirror? I want to look in the mirror. They're done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think this was before, like, really complex yeah, it's sort a, it's of an events game. happening in the, RPG Maker games. The, the fourth one only came out this last year, 2017. So mm -hmm. I'm interested to see how they evolve. Actually, I am going to give them all a shot. I know you're not a big fan of the Sandman, but I want to give them all a fair shake because I never played them at all. So, mm -hmm. Key to 108. Is 108 on this side? Yeah. Oh. I remember that one was a complicated puzzle that was at some point. <laughs> now, I can get on what's on the dresser. Got wire cutters, okay? That's for the staff room door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks like a bathroom? Yeah, it does indeed. <laughs> oh, someone's playing the music first up, brother. You should stop overriding saves. Where should I, should I go to the staff room first or the music room? Well, it's your choice. I'm going to the staff room. Oh, I have to go to the music room. I have no choice in the matter. <laughs> Who's there? Ah. Uh, I'm sorry, I just came in and the piano looked nice, so I hope. Sorry, I guilted you. I'm not on staff at the hotel or anything. Who are you? I'm David. I'm sort of looking for a guy. What about you? I'm Sissy. Sissy, then. What brings you here? It could be dangerous, you know. I stayed at this hotel once. But I forgot something important, so I came back to get it. I see. Did you find it? 
No. I'm still looking. It's just this little box decorated with rubies. Holy shit. <laughs> I reckon one of the staff would have probably had that, if I'm honest with you, sissy. Yeah, I'm not leaving until I find it. Yeah, no. If it's decorated with real rubies, it's long gone. <laughs> it's pawned for lots of money. Right, well, again, sorry for shouting. I'll probably be here a while longer so I could help you find it. Really? That would be great. Okay, please help. Just do me a favor, too, though. If you see a man about my age, would you tell me? Okay. Uh, I'll be going, then. Um, David, you be careful, too. This is a weird, it's a pretty weird encounter, isn't it? Why don't you just <laughs> stay together looking for it? Man, what am I doing shouting at girls? I feel like the shady one here. You can never shout at girls, guys, okay? Just a rule. Alright. <laughs> there we go, we're cutting it. Oh, nice little wire cutting sound effects. And then we go. A notebook. Door in room 106, bathroom needs fixing. Okay, there's a key on this page. Key to 106. Four chapters of the book have been mysteriously gone missing. Should you find the pages, please report to the owner. There's no doorknob. Oh shit. I hear something. Is somebody locked in there? I should find a way to open it. I really... No. No. <laughs> Why wouldn't you just call through the door? Like, hey, hello? Is anyone in there? No, I'm David. I don't do that. <laughs> I'm David. I like how he still thinks this is a fully functioning, operating yeah, he's hotel seen... when it's obvious no one's been here for fucking years. A doorknob? Oh yeah, the journal mentioned something about door repairs. Will it work on that door without a knob? Same kind, I'll give it a shot. Okay. That was the one with the creepy noise coming from it, right? Yep. I guess we're going there. This is such a bad idea. Yeah. Especially with that horrific trapdoor thing over there. There's obviously something really suspicious and horrible. Is that something there? Yep. This tower seems a little loose. The trapdoor is unlocked. Oh, okay. If this was like the witch's house or something, like, a, like an anvil would have fallen on you at that point. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It opened. Was there a mechanism in the floor? Yes. There's a ladder and it goes down where else? It goes down. Where else? What? Maybe I should check this out. Can't see a thing. I need a light. Oh. You don't have one. I have a cell phone. Can I use that? I can't leave. Are you kidding me? <laughs> There's no way out! Because I came down here without a light, I can't see where the fucking inch is. <laughs> look, Remy, look! Do you have to just fumble around for one? I can't move. Oh, lighter. I'm an idiot. I'm a fucking idiot. I'm a complete moron. I like how even though the steps were going on, you weren't actually moving anywhere. Yeah. I was. It was right. Chat. Uh, chat. Everyone's gonna be like, "Oh shit. Oh shit. Are you okay? Are you locked in here? Yeah, cause I'm a monster. Hello." Oh god, baby, what is it? What? Are you are you okay? Whoa! Eh? 
I remember this being really, yeah. really fucking terrifying. That's it's, it's still creepy there. That's a creepy shot. Stay back. Don't come near me. Whoa! Crap, let go, let go! Uh. Oh, I did it. I thought I was dying. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Its neck was all crooked. Can't have been human. And we're just going nuts here. That thing, it couldn't have been real. And that's when you put the couch or anything heavy over the thing. And you then, leave immediately. And then there's no more and game. And you never come back. And there's no more game because it's trapped down there forever. Because it's abandoned. <laughs> I must just be seeing things. I'm just so tired is all. I feel sick. <laughs> what the fuck? I wonder what Sissy's up to. I wonder what Sissy's up to. Did she find what she came I love how he just easily dismisses it. It's like, <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. Right, here we go. Gotta find Sissy. No idea where she is. <laughs> Was that Sissy? Where'd that come from? Not in here. I don't know, actually. I have no idea. Oh, there. Sissy, what happened? I went to the window and the floor gave way. What should I do? Sissy, jump over. It's dangerous over there. I can't. I'm slipping. And I can't possibly jump that far. I get this big. There's no time for pessimism. It's going to crumble soon. Hurry, I'll catch you. Ah! That's very good, Bubba. That was too close. Are you okay, Sissy? 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 Sissy Pooh? Are you hurt? Sissy? Oh my god, that was terrifying! <laughs> no more! I don't like the dark! Why do I? I. <laughs> it's okay, sissy. I'm sorry, I know you were scared, but it's fine now, don't cry. <laughs> <laughs> Still being mean to poor sissy. <laughs> to be fair, that's what I would be doing if I just went through that. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I was scared and confused. <laughs> it's alright, I'm glad you're not hurt. Did you find out what you were looking for? No, not yet. It wasn't in the room we stayed in. I wonder where it could be. Oh, I should yawn. I'm sorry. <coughs> it must be important if you came all by yourself. You could always just give up on it. It's not entirely safe here. I can't give up on it. I have to find it. The damn thing is encrusted with rubies. What the hell is wrong with you? What exactly is it? Sorry to ask, but I've been wondering. Was it a present or... It's a present from my boyfriend. It's the most important thing to me after my own life because it was encrusted with rubies and we broke up so I could probably pawn it off for a shit ton. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Sorry if I was rude. I'll keep looking for it too. You're looking for someone, right? I haven't met anyone yet, but can you tell me more about them? Well, I don't know that much either. Just there's a man about my age. Huh? You know that little about the person you're looking for? <laughs> you're a strange guy, David. I'm not. It's just some things I want to ask, and I just don't know how he looks because, uh... Strange, but very kind. I would have been hurt badly if you weren't here. I'm really grateful for you saving me. I should get going. Take care, David. I'll see you. Okay, bye! Bye! <laughs> I'm sorry for people who get butt hurt that we don't read word for word, but it's essentially the same. <clears throat> We're not voice actors. We know this. We have fun. And we hope you have fun too.
Where the fuck am I going now? Like, there's nowhere else to go. Well, there is. I mean, but we've got everything, right? <clears throat> oh, we haven't used the brass key, I guess? Can't open any of these. I guess just go through all the rooms until we find something again. I love the way you didn't mention anything about the fucking creepy dude that was like uh, bending his fucking neck in the basement. <laughs> well, it's just like, no, don't worry about it. Have you checked the bathrooms of the places you've been in? Nah, I will do. This one's locked. I wonder if I missed something in the basement. I hope I didn't. Nah, he just says it looks like a bathroom. We'll go back down to the basement again. Oh, yeah, I guess so. I don't really want to, but... I can't see what else I have to do. The basement door is open! It's probably nothing. Don't worry about it. Don't mind me. Oh yeah, he's gone. What a fucking arsehole. Lamp oil. Are we already... What else is in here? Miscellaneous. Oh, there's something. See? Bronze key. As it's a bronze key, I'm assuming it's not to a room, it's to one of the bigger rooms, you know what I mean? Like mm. one of the uh, extra areas of the building. So I'm pretty sure there's one of those on the first floor on the far left, I think. You should save. I just, I saved a minute ago, it's fine. Don't worry about it. This one. No, we already had it. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> now I try the other side! Prove you wrong. I'll prove you wrong. This one. Yep. Oh, I remember this. There's a fight here, right? Yep. I don't know if it's right now or if it's at, at a, some other point. A journal seemingly written by a staff member, and the last page is rambling and sloppily written. A toaster owner who left his employees and fled into the night. We'll drink all the beer we got. Hell, that's the only good thing here. Being out of a job's no good, but at least we don't have to see his mug no more. We were so sick of that egghead always trying to flaunt his intelligence. Installing weird stuff at the basement door, having a number lock on the food storage, and his silly, silly crap made this place impossible to run. Plus the passcode was this thing with a book, which he changed up every month. What the hell do you do if you're a forget? Maybe it's good for him, but sure as hell not us. Whatever. Once we're done with the booze, we're out of here. Toast to our bright futures. The door to the food storage is the far end of the first floor, right? A passcode on the food is pretty absurd. Brandy, it's just tons of alcohol in it. I might just catch fire if I drank this. That's important, I'm pretty sure. Yep. But not for now. At some point. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I do recall that. So, we need to, he said it's to do with the books. We need to go to the library first, yeah? To get the code. Because it said it's from the code's from some book. So. It's got to be this book, right? Or maybe not. No. Is it they? No. Look at the board. Mm. You might need another clue. I'm just going to check. Now we've read it. There might be something here that wasn't there before. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. mm, nothing that like, attaches my eye. You know what I mean? Maybe not. Book of the month. The strange case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. So now do we go and look under that in the library? Under T? That would make sense, right? Maybe. Because you said it changes the books every month. All right, let's try that. It's worth a shot. So, T. 
Yeah. The blackboard in the owner's room said the strange case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. It'll be on this shelf, right? Here we go. Chapter 1, Story of the Door. Chapter 2, Search for Mr. Hyde. Chapter 4, The Carrie Murder Case. 1, 2, 4, 5, 8, 10, what? It's whatever's missing, I would uh, assume. Okay, so... 3, 6, 7, 9. There you go, 3, 6, 7, 9 is the code. Yep, I'd assume so. Let's give it a shot. Oh, fuck. I might die here because I didn't save. Yeah. I keep telling you to save, but you don't listen. No way, did monster did it really? I can't You're move. It's coming die. this way, I gotta escape. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> God damn it. That scared the shit out of me, actually. <laughs> I can't remember what you have to do to avoid it. When do we last save? Oh god. I'll be back in a second, guys! This is why you save often! Yeah, I, I didn't think you could die until the final fight, so I didn't think there was any deaths. What do I you suppose. mean?! <laughs> I couldn't remember dying at all until the end of the game. Alright. Here we go again, guys. We're gonna get ambushed again. We're gonna jump down the hole this time, is what we think we have to do. Right, Bubba? Yeah. He's a bomber. Spooky dookie. Spooky dookie monster. Maybe if I drop him down here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is that monster? So what I saw earlier really was... Yes! I can't believe such a thing exists, but there's no way it's coming back now. This room under... This room's unders... Lo the room under's locked tight. I should warn Sissy when I see her. I knew it would be dangerous for her. Alright, we got the code to the food storage. Pretzel just disconnected all the sound. Great. Alright, food storage. Here we go. What did I say it was? Three... Six, seven, nine. Yeah. What's this? You see something shining, but it's out of reach. Oh no. Bubba, how are we gonna get it? Bubba? Mm hmm. How are we gonna get it? Seriously, do you know how to get it? Smack it with your head. Oh, the ladder. The ladder. I, I like the smack it with your head option. I could use it to get up to that thing. Yeah, but... You could smack it with your head. You you could smack it with your head. Key to 209. Save again in case the crooked man is out again. Let's be real, he probably is. He's in one of these rooms, right? Because he fell down. Yes. Is it on this side or on the other side? On the other side. Babe, we're doing it. We're solving the puzzles. We're fighting crime. No, don't worry about it. It's like something was badly burnt. Is this a photo? There's something under the pieces. I don't need her memory anymore because I know she won't come back. I have to erase everything good and bad and all the memories inside of me too. So I'm gonna burn the hotel now. <laughs> My head hurts. It's easing up. I'm exhausted. I guess I haven't slept much. Let's sleep in one of these beds. So he burnt the photo to mend his broken heart, huh? I know I couldn't do that. I'll never forget. Never. According to Paul, that makes me a pansy. It well, does. kind of does. Oh, hi, sissy. Oh, there you are, David. I just teleported over. Did you find, did you find the box? No, I can't find it. There's lots of room I can't get into, so it might be one of those. What's wrong, dickhead? Yeah, what's wrong, dickhead? <laughs> what's wrong, David? You look kind of pale. Oh, it's nothing, but sissy, you should really leave soon. Why? You may not believe it, but there's some kind of bizarre monster around here. I found it in the basement. I was attacked by it earlier. You're definitely... 
be in danger too, so I think you should go. Look, I don't like dark, scary places either, but there's no reason to tease me like that. I'm not a kid afraid of the boogeyman, okay? Sorry, but I'm not trying to tease you. I'm telling the truth. <laughs> don't worry, I'm not mad. You don't seem like a dishonest guy, so I'd like to believe you, but a monster? Maybe you mistook something in the dark. It killed me! Sorry. <laughs> you could be subsessed, sub blah, 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 susceptible to seeing things when you wander around in the dark like this. I like to think you're right, but alright, if you insist. But be careful, okay? I know. Well, I'll go looking elsewhere. You're fucking insane. Bye, sissy. Bye. Is that all there is? I mean, we've reached a dead end again now, right? I think I'll have a sleep. No, you're not going to sleep? So you said you were tired? No, okay, fine. Bye -bye. Mm -hmm. I think something bomb's going to happen. Yes. Ew. That what? was very squishy. Oh, this is the bit you were talking about. Yeah. Prepare for me to die a lot, guys. I think I know what to do, though. Red writing? Was this here before? Leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Come to me. I'm waiting for you. That's the opposite! You're, you're like, fucking, like, leading us in with one hand and then punching us with the other. <laughs> Come to me. Fuck off. Sounds pretty inconsistent. Who could have written this? Probably that guy. Why? I dropped you down a pit! Crap, I gotta do something. Did I suppose to... How about some of this? I guess that wouldn't do much alone. What else can I do? Lighter. Lighter. Oh yeah, now it's covered in alcohol. It should be pretty flammable. I died so much here the first yeah. time I did this. Oh, okay, good. I thought that was like me controlling it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me run away so that I can set this entire place on fire <laughs> while you're still inside. <laughs> he ran away, phew. What the hell is that thing? Why is it chasing me? How did it survive before? It's a fucking monster! Might need something to defend myself. Even just a knife could really help. Was there one of those around? In there the was food in storage. the food storage, yeah. yeah. Which we should have taken originally, David. You fucking idiot. But we didn't. You know why? Because you're an idiot. <laughs> but yeah, that that sequence there, I died a lot, I'm pretty mm. sure. Is there, I think, I don't know. I'm trying to remember the times we fight the crooked man in the game. I know there's a bit that made me want to like kill myself. The, it, on the hospital roof at one point, but yeah. A fruit knife. Maybe I should take it for self-defense. Did that just fall off the table by itself, by the way? Yes, it did. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Blood? This wasn't here earlier. This wasn't here six seconds ago. Did something happen to Sissy? Nope, down now. Yeah, I was trying. I couldn't see where I went. Is there a room we haven't gone in? Oh, shit. <laughs> Whoa, your arm's bleeding. So it was your blood. Were you hurt? My arm caught on something. You've lost a ton! It's not a big deal. Don't worry about it. It's bleeding a lot, though. And you've been resting here, right? What if you get anemia? I'm just a little tired. I've been walking around a lot. Really? Don't worry about it. I've pretty much lost all the blood in my body, but I'm fine. Give me your hand, sissy. I have a handkerchief so I can at least try and wrap it up. I did blow my nose on it, so it's a bit gross, but you know. And sissy died of blood poisoning. I guess that's better than nothing. Doesn't hurt? It's fine. Thank you. You're so kind, David. <laughs> you don't seem so well. Did something happen? Well, I did just lose most of the blood in my body. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's nothing. I've just been so silly. Silly? Silly that I'm wandering this dark place all alone, falling in holes, cutting my arm all to find some measly box. 
Measly, but it's important, right? A memento from your boyfriend. Well, he's my ex, to be exact. Huh. He left me quite a while ago, but while we were dating, this hotel <gasps> special was place, our like in the note. special place. That was when I lost the damn box. I've been worried about it ever since. But I only just worked up the courage to come look because damn those rubies if they're real. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I could forget everything about him, but it was no good. Coming here just brought back all these memories. As any person would fucking figure out. <laughs> Why did you break up? I don't know. Maybe that's why I won't give up. He said he appreciated my kindness, but when we broke up, he said it was all I had. And he was exactly right, so I couldn't reply. Wow. <laughs> what an asshole. I really am a wimp. No wonder he'd break up with me. Even I'd hate a girl like me. Wow, you're an asshole too, then. Sorry, I know I'm just annoying you. I'll rest here a little longer. I'm a little dizzy. Thanks for your help, David. Oh, and here I found this. I'm not sure where it goes, though. Key to somewhere. Thanks. Don't strain yourself, okay? Well, I'm going. To somewhere. Is it in the hotel, or are we done here? Oh, God. Why are you always like this, David? Like, like what? Oh, you can be this way, sorry. You're always such a yes man. Just going with the flow. Do you even have a personality? <laughs> I don't mean to. I mean, I try to think for myself. I don't see it that way. Because I'm a bitchy blonde. You're not kind. You're just indecisive. You treat anyone else the same way, right? That's why I can't trust you, because you're not beating the shit out of me, apparently. Look, please, <laughs> just listen. I'm always thinking of you. I, I'm in pain, and I'm sorry. There you go again, thinking you can just apologize and everything will be fine. You don't understand a word I'm saying. Th then what should I do? You just don't trust me, is that it? Maybe it's hopeless for us. I hate for it to end this way, but I think we will both be worse off staying together any longer. Thanks for everything, David. Goodbye. Wait, we can't. T we can talk this out, Shirley. Kindness is all you have. Sissy and I are the same like that. Timidly refusing to forget. The moment I realized she didn't love me, I felt like I was nothing but worthless. I wonder if Sissy felt that way too. Are we done? No. So what's this key for? Oh, there you go. Yay. Something's in the fountain. Oh, it's the box. Maybe this is the one Sissy lost. And no one took it? It must be. It's decorated with rubies. Did someone throw it here away here or what? Man, I'm glad I found it. I'll get this to Sissy pronto. Sissy's box. Alright. Sissy, nothing bad can happen, Sissy. We got you the box, okay? Your favourite thing in the whole wide world. Honey, where are you going? Sissy, she's in the room up here. No. Where is she? There's a blood trail, honey. Oh, yeah! <laughs> I forgot about that. Poor little sissy. She <laughs> cut herself. Lost half a pint of her own blood. <laughs> Almost died. Oh. oh, no. Why did sissy leave already? But she's wounded. Oh, I think something bum's happening. Sissy! Probably should save the game again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, spooky dooky music. I think she's in the, I want to say, the restaurant? 
Nope. The other one? The bull run? Yeah. Sissy! I can't remember what to do in here, but I know I wanted to punch myself, I think, after I did it last <laughs> time. Ah! Uh, sorry, that was you. Scream again, Bebe, just for sake. Ah! What the fuck is that?! <laughs> Stop right there, back off, monster! David! <laughs> I, made it, I regret my decision instantly. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Sissy, get out of the hotel! David, what are you- I said, run away, I'll take care of this. I have no idea what to do. I got enough. <laughs> hey, monster, I don't know what the hell you are, but I don't let you, you won't lay a finger on sissy. Oh, okay, it's like a boss fight, right? Oh, we have to hit him, and we die a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I can't remember what to do here. Yeah, you have to wait until he's like a square up away from you. But he does charge sometimes, so you have to be careful. Yeah, see? Yeah, it's going pretty well though, right? Yeah. <laughs> careful! I think you only get hit twice, right? Or three times, maybe? I think it's twice. Did I kill him or did he kill me? I don't know. We killed him. Good. There we go. First try! I remember that taking not as many hits. I died a lot when I did that <laughs> last time. A lot. David! <laughs> <laughs> oh! You're okay. I mean, oh, yay! <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> yeah. I don't think he'll chase us anymore. But never mind me. Are you okay? Don't mind me. Don't mind me. I'm not hurt. But my box. Sissy, what's wrong? You're not feeling well. I'm vibrating. Why? Why did this happen? Why do I have to go through this? Why did that horrible monster attack me? <laughs> I just didn't want to forget him. I just wanted to have my memory of him at least. Is it because I'm such a wimp that all this happened? Can I not even love him? Well, you're... you're uh, um, hmm, honey. <laughs> it's okay, sissy. No, I hate it. Somebody, somebody help! <laughs> oh my god. Sissy. So it's your fucking sissy, sissy. Do these affect the ending? I can't remember. I don't think so. I don't think so. Did you make a save before this? I did, with the before the fight, so yeah. As long as we don't overwrite that save, we'll be fine. So, I guess, please don't cry, I'm gonna say? Yeah. Please don't cry. Crying won't do any good. I know all too well how you feel, but... It may be tough, but you have to move on. You know that, don't you? You can't keep going on like this. I'm sure somebody will understand you someday, so please don't cry. Oh my god. I think I might have picked the wrong one there. Oh my god. Seriously, sissy? Fucking grow up. <laughs> you won't even let me cry? There's really nothing I can do? This is your treasure. I found it in the courtyard earlier. You decided to forget everything, right? I'm sorry. I was selfish. I know better than anyone that I can't keep going on like this. Maybe we did make the right choice? I don't fucking know. I can't keep stewing over it. I need to forget him. By s uh, Why would you can not I, Can I have it? the rubies, sissy? <laughs> 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 it's a precious memory, but I don't need it anymore, do I? Get the rubies. Get the rubies. I'll be going now. Sorry I couldn't help you, David. I hope you find who you're looking for. Even though it is totally obvious it's my ex-boyfriend, possibly, maybe. Yeah, thanks, sissy. Be or well. it's a ghost that was in our situation. Oh, fuck. Sissy! Sissy, hey, open up, sissy! Damn it. 
Stop it. Stop it right now. Don't you lay a hand on her. Open this door. Stop! I don't remember this. Oh, well. Oh, well, sissy's dead. Rubies? Rubies. Rubies? Rubies? <laughs> Seriously? Bad end one. What a sissy. Okay, so we're going to pick the other option here. What's wrong with being a wimp? What's wrong with being a wimp? Huh? You may feel like a sissy for not being able to forget him, but is that such a bad thing? David? You know, I was dumped a few months ago too. I was sure we were going to get married. You too? I was dejected. Even now, it still pains me. I don't think I can truly forget it. I've always hated how I was such a coward. I'm a miserable excuse for a man, especially in romance. I couldn't even be happy when my friend got married. It made me hate myself more and more. But looking at you, I've come to think. Maybe it's not bad to keep thinking of someone. In fact, maybe it's a wonderful thing. I'm not sure it is. It's really not. I think it's a shit thing. <laughs> I decided I wouldn't give up either. And it's thanks to you, sissy. Thank you. It's not a good thing to it's a continue thing. being hung up on someone, someone who doesn't for want to be with you. Years and years, if they don't want to be with you, doesn't give a shit about exactly. you. Exactly, that's the best the issue. That is a one-way ticket to deep emotional and mental scarring and abuse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because that person will take advantage of you if they're such a shithead. That's true. Um, David. This is your treasure, right? It's a pretty fancy box. It's a shame to throw it away. Take good care of it, okay? I'm sure the one you love will understand, and I know I'll always support you. They, they won't. They don't give a shit about you. They're, they're all fucking somebody else. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you, David. I'll, I'll try a little harder. I hope things go well for you too. Hey, David, did the box come with a key? A key? No, I didn't see one. Huh. Strange. The box needs a key to open, so... I didn't lock it. A key? Wait, hold on. Maybe this brass key? Of course not. Ah, that's the one. Where'd you find it? Well, really? I, I picked it up around here. A key from my house opened Sissy's box, so the former tenant's involved with the box. What does that mean? Oh my god! Use your brain! <laughs> I wonder why it was locked. Let's open it. Oh, there's a piece of paper. This. Sissy, can I look at that? I thought so. It matches with the notebook pages, which means he... I don't get it, but I guess the guy you're looking for put the paper in here? Seems that way. It has an address on it. Are you going there, David? Yeah, he wasn't here, so I'll check there next. Okay, be careful. Thanks for offering to come with me, bitch. I've got you home, sissy. It's dark out, after all. I'll be alright. Thanks, though, David. Well... And Sissy was never seen again. <laughs> <gasps> I'm really thankful, David. Let's see each other again sometime. Rebound! <laughs> this surprised me. I came. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> but she seems happier now. That's good. I feel a little more relaxed myself. Lingering scent of dreams. Is this address where he is now? I'll go check it out. I've come this far. Until I find him, I'll go anywhere. Why? I Why do you care so much? No, is this uh, was this translated from Japanese or was this English? It's Japanese. It was. Yeah. So maybe it's just a translation error. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, the concept of moving on is important, and I think that's maybe what they're trying to say. Like you shouldn't be like bitter about it, 
but how they're writing it out in English just makes it sound like, oh yeah, it's okay to constantly be hung up on someone for all eternity. Exactly. That's totally healthy. It's fine, and it's not. It's telling Because <laughs> you're not going to do anything but hurt yourself. The person you were with is not going to care. If anything, they're just going to be annoyed. So, like, it, it, yeah. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. Yep. We'll uh, see you next time. Thank you for watching Part 1 of the Crooked Man. If you enjoyed, like, comment. Let us know if you've ever had your neck bent at a 90 degree angle before in the comment section below. That's the question of the day. <laughs> well, it wouldn't be 180. Because it goes Whatever. down. If it's ever happened to you. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, real question. Have you ever been to any abandoned buildings and things like that? I'm curious to see what you, you know, what your experiences are. So let us know. Question of the day below in the comment section. Uh, you can also support us on GameWest. GameWest.com slash Minx. It allows us to do this full time. And it means we can bring more solo playthroughs like this to you guys. So it's, thank you very much. It's not if you support there. Well, you know what I mean. So single player games. It's fully. It's more I mean. videos of us. Yes. Is what you should say. Regardless. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching, everyone, and uh, we'll see you really soon. Bye!